everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. I just posted a new design and I wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you how you can customize it in Cricut Design Space if you'd like. If you or someone you know is welcoming a new baby, this is a perfect little gift you can make. So here I am in Cricut Design Space and the first thing I'm going to do is go to Upload. Just click on Upload Image and then you can just drag the file like so. I actually already have this uploaded so I'm just going to hit Cancel instead of Upload right now and upload that design. So now that this design is uploaded to my canvas, I just want to add a few stats um, onto the clouds here so that I can customize it for my daughter Cressida. First thing I'm going to do is just hit this little button here and this will ungroup all of my layers. And for whatever reason, this top cloud layer got a little bit skewed. So I'm just going to drag it up here to get it to be where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm just going to hit the text tool over here. I'm going to start typing out my stats. And the font that I'm using for this is a free font in Cricut Design Space called Quintype. Um, but it's too large right now, so I'm just going to shrink it down. I think I'm just going to go do it this way. It's also a little bit too close together. I'm going to space my letters out a little bit more. Once that's the size I want, I'm just going to duplicate this layer so that I can have it uh, be the exact same size and type out my next stat. And repeat the process again. I'm going to take my text tool again and type out my daughter's name. But this time I want to switch it to a script font. So I'm going to change the font up here. And instead of Quinn, I'm going to type script in the search. And I'm going to use this Alyssa stencil script. Once again, just going to scale that down. Now all of our text is automatically set to pen for the operation, so you don't have to change anything up here luckily. But there's just one more thing we'll need to do before we send this to cut, and that is to attach our writing to the shapes. Right now all of these clouds are grouped together, so I'm just going to hit ungroup one more time. And then I'm going to select this cloud and this text, and I'm going to hit attach. I'm going to do the same thing with these pieces. And I'm going to select the rest of my text along with this cloud piece and hit attach. And now you should be ready to go. Let's hit make it. I'm just going to select any material. And everything should show up correctly and shouldn't come apart when I move it around. So that's good. The last thing I just wanted to say is that I did design these to fit on 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper. When you click on material size, it won't give that as an option because it is slightly too large, but it actually will fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper as long as you're willing to live on the edge a little bit. So that's about it. From there, you can just cut this design out how you normally would and use any paper that you like. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!